Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video is just a quick little video response from a guy called the Dedux Code who asked me how you could zoom in in HitFilm 3 Express. So the first thing you want to do is import your media by pressing the import button and locating your file. Then you're just going to drag your video straight into your timeline. I've already got a clip that's been graded just because I like it the look of it better. But uh, if it if you edit to the sequence differs, just click yes. And we've got this nice clip, my clips of a flower, and it plays back pretty nice. So to zoom into this, we're going to have to make a composite shot because the only thing we can change uh, in the editor really is opacity. So click on your clip and press the make composite shot button. Call it whatever you want. So flower, and uh, we've got a nice little clip here. So to zoom in, we have to use utilize something called keyframing, and keyframing is uh, how we animate. So if we open up this arrow here in our clip and we open up the transform properties, we can see we have opacity, anchor point, position, scale, and rotation. So to zoom in, we can we can also go to our controls and have a look at these values here. So to zoom in, basically the idea is that we scale up the clip. So to zoom to make a smooth zoom in, we have to use keyframing. So a keyframe is a point in time where we save information and between two keyframes it will smoothly move between those two points of information. So just to show you, to create a keyframe at the very beginning say, let's press this circle next to the scale button. And then at the end of the video, or say at five seconds, we can change the position and it will automatically, or change the scale and it will automatically create a new keyframe keyframe for us. And we'll want the the things to be linked so it doesn't distort the image. And we can simply drag uh, the drag this to something like 300%. So now we have two diamonds, one here and one here. And they're both store they both store pieces of information. So at the very first one, it stores it that the scale is at 100%, and at the end, that is at 300%. So when we go back and play, play the clip, it will create a nice, easy zoom in. And then when we go back into our editor, whoops, when we go back into our editor, it'll play back the zoom very nicely. So that's how you scale or zoom in to your clip in HitFilm 3 Express. I hope this was useful to you, especially the guy that commented uh, and asked me whether he could have this video done for him. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And comment for more suggestions so that you can get answered just like this guy did. I'll see you guys later. Bye.